to uh, have a conversation with the ambassador, German ambassador to Kenya, Sebastian Groth. He's in the building, but you can call him Diplo Jazz, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the Twitter handle. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, of his right. love for jazz music. So if you're out there, you need to know a little bit more about him. Karibu sana, uh, ambassador. We hope that you love, love, loving the 254. But how do you ordinarily introduce yourself? Well, um, with my name, of course, I'm Sebastian. <laughs> um, I'm not always the excellency, you know, I'm still surprised if people call me like that. Yeah. Um, um, I'm very happy to be here. And as you said, I feel the energy, it more looks like a, like a club in Berlin than, yeah. a, radio, <laughs> than, a, than, than a radio At station. At 8 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, 8 in the morning is not the usual time, probably in Berlin, yeah, <laughs> yeah. to go to a club sometimes. Yeah. But um, no, I'm very, very happy to be here. No, that's a very big compliment because Berlin clubs be pumping. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's so good to have you. We're going to discuss, of course, you know, a lot of matters, um, Germany and Kenya. But before that, just to get to know you a little bit, of course, um, I was just asking you off air, you know, being an ambassador is being a people person, right? What do you do just for Sebastian? Not your excellency, not Mr. Ambassador, just Sebastian. Well, um, fortunately in Kenya, there's a lot you can do. Um, yes. I love doing sports. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I play tennis a bit. Um, I have a fantastic Kenyan and a fantastic Rondese coach. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, I do swim training um, with a Kenyan nice. swim trainer, yeah. Sharon. Hi to Sharon, mm -hmm. if she listens. Is it yeah. Pro so, Swim Academy? Uh, no, no, it's oh. at the UN compound. Okay. Okay. Um, but I was a very bad swimmer. I, mm. I'm still a bad swimmer, but it's moving upwards, yeah. I think. Thank God uh, you can say swim. Yeah. Uh, uh, others, we just watch yeah. we support from afar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I, 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 I got there because I wanted to learn freestyle properly, but she mm -hmm. does everything, including mm -hmm. uh, dolphin, and that's really tough. Um, wow. So in the beginning, I was drowning after five meters, but now I survive at least a little bit. Nice. Mm -hmm. No, and, and, and I do music, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm a musician myself. I read a lot. I have a family here, so mm -hmm. we are traveling a lot around the country, around the region. So there's a lot of things you can do if time allows, of course. Very, mm -hmm. very true. I'm glad you're enjoying your time there. Um, we've had a lot of global conversations happening but climate change has been you know on the forefront of everybody's right. mind cop 28 had mixed reviews some people were like not enough has been done mm. other people were like you know what we've made progress mm -hmm. what are your key takeaways from cop 28 especially with regards to africa kenya and germany no i think you're right the expectations were a bit mixed also given that it took place in a country that is itself producing a lot of fossil fuels mm -hmm. no but i think if, if you look uh, with a realistic um perspective um, there were three remarkable results, at least. Um, first was the decision to phase out fossil fuel by 2050. Mm -hmm. And that was a very tough decision because in the first draft of the resolution, it was not part of the text. And then and very um, ambitious too. yeah, And very ambitious. And it was against the odds, you know, mm -hmm. given where, where the, the conference took place. Mm -hmm. And the second thing I think very important is um, that uh, we committed to double um, the energy efficiency and triple the renewables by 2030 on the baseline of 2019. Mm -hmm. So um, that's quite important. And I just read yesterday that um, in 2023, we had 50% more renewable installations than 2022. Oh. So there is really an increase in the global investment in renewables and that's very important. And the last point, very important also for Africa, is that we created the loss and damage fund. Yes. Uh, there was some seed money by Germany and by UAE mm -hmm. and the first day of the conference. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, we have around 800 million uh, US dollar in this fund. And I think that's mm -hmm. that's a good step forward. It's mm -hmm. human psychology doesn't change even at a global level. You need someone to start it off and right. be like, yeah, I'm putting right. in a million, I'm putting exactly. in a million and then 790, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, the fact that we've, you know, made this progress means, I mean, you know, a little bit of progress means that there's a lot more work to be mm. done. Where does Germany fall in when it comes to, you know, your cooperation with Kenya, especially matters climate change? Yeah. yeah. So climate energy is one really of the main pillars of our bilateral cooperation. We celebrated 60 years of bilateral rela relations last year. Germany was the first country um, that um, 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 accepted or um, endorsed the independence, um, um, not accepted, but um, recognized the independence of Kenya, mm -hmm. um, 63. That's why our number plate starts with one CD, oh, uh, 1K. Did not know uh, that. We are very proud of this. And yeah. um, that shows, I, I think, also the rich history of our relation. And um, at latest, in the early 80s, energy and climate is one of the main um, binding elements of this relationship. You know ab about the geothermal um, plant in Alcaria, for yes. example, and mm -hmm. Germany was a very important partner from the very beginning when this uh, new energy form was um, was created and a lot of investment took place. Um, 
uh, one and a half years ago, um, we um, put this partnership on a new basis called um, Climate and Development Partnership um, with an important portfolio, um, 300 million um, euros all in all. Um, and we are doing um, the renewables, we are doing the grids, um, we are supporting um, Kenya in setting up um, a framework for green hydrogen. Um, and um, we supported Kenya also in um, organizing the African Climate Summit, which was yes. a big success, I think, not only for Kenya, but mm -hmm. for the whole co uh, continent. Sure. Mm -hmm.